Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a few practice sums on histogram. The first sum is Observe the histogram and answer the questions given below. What information is being given by the histogram? Which group contains maximum girls? So the information given by the histogram, if you see here, it is giving the number of girls in each height range. So number of girls in each height range, which means it gives the heights of the girls from class 7. And which group contains the maximum girls? So you can easily see that this group, which is group 140 to 145. And this number of girls are 7. So let's solve the next one. The weekly wages in rupees for 30 workers in a factory are given below. Draw a histogram and answer the following questions. So let's first make the group frequency table. So before we start making the frequency table, let's determine the class size. And if you see here, the highest observation is 890 and the smallest observation is 804. So the difference is around 86 or 90. So if I make the groups of or the class size as 10 then I will be able to get 10 groups and that is okay because I need greater than 5 and less than 10 so that is okay so let's take class size as 10 and make frequency table so we have made the frequency table and if we add these we get 30 so which means our frequency table must be correct how I did it if you see here the starting range 810, so 1. I looked at middle digit as 1 and counted. Middle digit as 2, middle digit as 3 and that way it was easy to count. So we have now got our group frequency table and let's now draw the histogram. For that we need x axis and y axis. So we have drawn our x and y axis and along the x axis we'll write weekly wages. And along the y-axis, we'll write the number of workers. For the scale for number of workers, we have the highest frequency is 9. So, we'll divide it into 1 to 10. And our class intervals are starting at 800. So, let's have a broken line here. And then we'll start from 800 here. Let me draw the bars first and then I will name the x axis. Now let's adjust the height of the bars. Let's write the scale. And let's give a title to the bar. And that's our histogram. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.